I think it's safe to say we all rely on the internet so much from day to day when the connection fails, no matter what the reason, it's a real struggle for some of us. Absolutely, and Fox Source Bella Line shows us how an outage yesterday in Cape Coral pretty much stopped the workday. When I called this morning, early six, seven o'clock, uh, for us, as just as a residence, uh, they told us, yeah, your area is out. Didn't say what area, but it's an area, so it's not just our home. As more people moved to Southwest Florida during the pandemic, that also meant more people working from home and relying on strong internet connections. For the Doviak family who had appointments scheduled for today in Fort Myers, they said the office had to cancel because of the outage. I have several friends who run businesses from around the country via Zoom and, and all the meetings that they have. So when the internet goes down, they're out of business for a while. Jim Pakin understands this more than most. He's a retired network engineer. I spent a lot of my career building the internet, but you know, if you're in my house, the thermostat doesn't work, if the internet doesn't work, the, the rings, some of them don't work. I have them on different networks, but the ring cameras, you have to think about you know, some network resiliency, I'll say. Many in Southwest Florida are facing internet outages, and this means more than just not being able to watch TV. For Doviak, who worked in public safety for many years, he says this is a public safety concern. And with the dangerous heat in Southwest Florida right now, this means a concern about public safety if someone needs help right away. If you have a cell phone and that thing is not working, you've got no access to emergency services. You know, so that, that is one of my primary concerns for anybody. I mean, because, you know, it would be like the old days. Your neighbors just start running down the street yelling for help. And same with Pakin. When I'm 80, when I look to my, you know, uh, iPhone watch and I call for an ambulance, I want it to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so all these things have to be, you know, kind of thought through before you need them. Xfinity and Comcast did not respond directly to Fox 4, but sent out a series of texts informing Southwest Florida customers about the outages. But the time of when it would be fixed is still getting pushed back for certain areas. In Cape Coral, Bella Line, Fox 4. Yeah.